Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I'm going to talk about how we can show and hide fields in the model driven application using the javascript approach the another approach you can leverage for this type of requirement is using business rule as well but here in this video we will specifically demonstrate the javascript code we will discuss about how we can inject the javascript inside the model driven application so let's get started now first of all let me show you the end outcome so over here we have new employee form and over here i have a department column i want to achieve a requirement that whenever i am selecting it as a field only at that time this resume option should be visible to the user let's say instead of it if i select some other values then it should be hidden automatically so how can we achieve that using javascript so let's have a look but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform to add the javascript first let's write the code for the javascript application open any of the editor that you have in your computer you can use visual studio code or you can simply use notepad or notepad++ as well so over here i have opened notepad++ and i have written one function called show hide field inside the show hide field i have used execution context because i want to execute my function depending on the department drop down which is selected by the user so i am passing the execution context here and i am just finishing this function now here i am just using some variable form context and for that i just use execution context dot get form context so here i am getting the form context once i get the form context i am getting the selection value so what i need here is i need the value of the department column so which value is selected how can i get that so for that i need the logical name of this department column and to find that open your dataverse table so here employee is my dataverse table let's go to the column section of it and let's search for the department column which is created over here so here i have my department column so from this i need to copy this logical name of department over here i'm copying this and pasting that into my code so what i need is i need the value of department selected department over here okay so let's just paste this attribute and now uh this is the syntax xrm dot page dot get attributes of this dot get value and it will return me the array so i need the first element of the array so i'm just using zero dot name because this is department is something which is a lookup column in my case depending on your column type this selector value will be changed and you can verify in this way as well let me show you how let me copy this code over here let me go to the browser window and let me open up my model driven form so this is my form right click here and click on inspect i have just opened browser's console and now let me just print out this code xrm.page.getattribute.get value and let's see what we are getting here so you can see that i'm getting finance which is perfect value okay and this is how you can do the debugging as well for yourself so let's say if i don't know in get value what i am getting so what i can do is i can simply enter that it is giving you this whole object and from zeroth element you are getting this name okay so what we are doing here that's why we have written this specific code get value then zeroth of element and dot name property okay so this is something you need to play around so what i'm doing here is i'm getting what value i'm getting here into this variable then i'm just checking if this value is equal to it then what i'll do i will hide the resume column so i already created a column here resume so whenever we are selecting a value from here as it you can see this resume column and now if i go to here for my resume this is the id let's have a look so i created this column here resume and i just copied the logical name of resume from here okay so i copy this name and what i'm doing here is that column dot set visible is equal to true 
or false so if it is it then visible otherwise set visible is false so this is the simple code i have used and don't worry the code link is available in the description box so do check it out all right so we have created this function which is fine and good simple easy to understand now let's save this file so i am just saving this file on my local computer at this moment so let me just go to the download folder and let me just save that so i just provided the extension employee show height.js let's save this file so this file has been saved successfully now let me go to my solution where i have created the model driven application so this is the solution where i did created model driven application uh, through winpos and now let's add our web resource file over here so let's click on new and click on more option over here there is an option called web resource click on that and upload the file that you just created so i am just uploading the file from my download folder and it will looking like this and now let's provide the display name i am just providing the display name as yt emp show height emp show height and let's copy the exact same name over here as well it's all good type is javascript and all good let's click on save the web resource has been added successfully so once that you add the web resource it will be available underneath this section web resource so this is the one we just added select that and click on publish button so let's publish our javascript after we publish the file we need to open our model driven application so this is the model driven application i have created so let me just clicking on this and add it in new tab now this is the model driven application we have let's expand that and this is the form we have here so let's click on that and there is an option to edit the form so let's redirect ourselves over here and now we need to attach our javascript over here into this specific form so we need to apply the condition on the department column so select the department column and now go to the event step from the right hand side there is an option to add the event handler click on that first select the event type so basically on change we want to fire that so let's select that now here we need to provide the library which means that file that you have uploaded so click on the add library from here and search for the file that you just uploaded so this is the file yt emp show hide you created so select that and click on add as soon as you add that from this option select that specific file so i'm selecting this file and over here i need to pass the function name as well so open the javascript file that you uploaded so this is the function name you created so copy this function name and provide that function name over here also over here make sure you tick that pass execution context as a first parameter and that's how you will get the context of this specific form from your javascript function okay so we are passing this execution context from here now let's click on done and that event handler is added here show hide fields and make sure from table column dependencies you select the department column after adding the javascript function make sure that the resume column that you have you make it as hidden by default so by default when nothing is there it is hide automatically and once you select the option only at that time it will show okay so make sure that you select that click on save and publish so now let's test this feature so i played my model driven application and i'm just clicking on new button as soon as you click on new button you can see that you don't have the resume column by default and now from lookup drop down let's select the value of it as soon as you select that it is available over here now let's see if you do here as a finance it will hide that thing from here right so isn't it cool and amazing so this is how you can simply show and hide the fields based on the drop down selection using jquery or javascript inside the model driven application hope this video helps you and values your time 
If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. Looking for any paid consultation or training? The website link is available here on the channel cover right page. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and don't forget to subscribe my another channel Digital Dhruvin. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.